Hello everyone. Today we are going to be talking about Wi-Fi range. So, uh, well, we all have been there. Well, uh, in the like our favorite spot of the house where uh, we want to sit and chill, but unfortunately we are not getting a good Wi-Fi, so we could watch our favorite stuff. And maybe uh, you don't get the reception in your bedroom as well, and it's like uh, really annoying. So what you're going to do is like maybe search online for a few solutions. So here are my solutions uh, that might help you um, like uh, extend your Wi-Fi uh, and get a better range or and maybe better speeds as well. So let's get into it. Number one solution is using a Wi-Fi repeater. Uh, Wi-Fi repeater usually comes in like uh, this much size, like an average smartphone. And what it does is that it connects to the uh, your uh, uh, main router. For example, uh, this is your main router, and this is the Wi-Fi repeater. They connect via wireless connection. Of course, uh, this had uh, these have a better, like a bigger antenna, and uh, the range for it is better, and it can connect to it and it broadcasts a new signal. The downside is that uh, uh, for number one is the wireless connection. It is the upside of course because you don't need to run the extra cables but the downside is that you're compromising speeds because the uh, wire on wireless connection you, you do not get the best speeds uh, because of a lot of uh, factors, a lot of interference and uh, num uh, number third is that uh, you do not need to use extra cables at, as I stated because it's a wireless connection. And number fourth, number fourth is that it is cheap. So it can be done easily. You just have to plug in uh, that thing into the wall and it connects to the main router. You, it is an easy setup. You get, can get a, a lot of companies are offering the wireless uh, repeaters so you could get them uh, easily and set them easily but the downside is that you're not getting the best speeds although you're getting a range but the thing is you're not getting uh, the best speeds uh, second solution is using a Wi-Fi extender a Wi-Fi extender uh, is like uh, I'm gonna show you this is the uh, main router and uh, and this is the uh, Wi-Fi extender of course the, uh, this is a schematic and they connect via an Ethernet connection uh, you might say that uh, Wi-Fi extender and Wi-Fi repeaters are the same thing but no you're wrong uh, let me show you uh, I do have something that resembles a Wi-Fi extender uh, that you might be able to differentiate between a Wi-Fi extender and a Wi-Fi repeater <clears throat> It looks something like this. This is, of course, not a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, this is a power line adapter, and uh, uh, but Wi-Fi uh, extender resembles to this, except uh, it, it does have some antennas uh, going upwards or whatever the case may be, and it has uh, an Ethernet port. Uh, remember, and a Wi-Fi repeater does not have an Ethernet port. If that, if it does have an Ethernet port then it is a Wi-Fi extender. So now ex I explained the difference between a Wi-Fi extender and a Wi-Fi repeater. Now uh, let's uh, see why Wi-Fi extender is better than a Wi-Fi repeater. So uh, as I explained, it has a, uh, a wired connection and uh, it has better speeds, of course, because it's a uh, wired connection. And number three, it's obviously robust and it is cheap as well. Uh, it's not that expensive. Uh, you can get them easily and set them up easily as well. Number three is using a wireless access point. Wireless access point does not have an, uh, its own, like uh, a router or something. Uh, there's a difference between a modem, uh, a router, and a wireless access point. A modem uh, basically uh, converts the whatever signal you're getting it's a cable or a DSL signal into the internet usable internet and a router basically routes the traffic uh, in the local area whatever is connected to the router 
and a wireless access point basically broadcasts a signal that you connect your gadgets via Wi-Fi like your smartphone or a laptop. So this is how you connect uh, your router. This is a router, whatever the main primary uh, router you, you could say it is. And it is connected through Ethernet connection. And this is your wireless AP. AP means access point. And this is an Ethernet connections, but you can see I have written PoE. What is a PoE? A PoE is basically power over Ethernet. Let me tell you why that's amazing. So you use only one uh, cable for PoE, uh, like to power your like access point. How is that possible? Basically, you can see there are like this is an Ethernet cable. I think it's a Cat5 cable or a Cat6, whatever it is. Uh, Ethernet cable basically has like four twisted pairs, uh, means eight uh, like uh, cables. Like you can see, let me see if I focus. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for example, like in the eight cables, all of the uh, eight K like cables are not used for internet. Uh, only four of them are used for uh, the internet and four of them are vacant. So what POE does is like uh, the four of them are using the internet like as usual, but the other ones are used for POE power or ethernet. So you don't have to plug in your uh, wireless access point and you just have to like connect your uh, uh, Ethernet cable to that and then like you could just connect this uh, RJ45 uh, cable into your uh, uh, access point and then you're good to go of course after setting it up uh, why is that better because it's a wired connection PoE as I explained earlier and it needs only one cable you don't need to uh, run a lot of cables for it uh, it is cheap but uh, the access point itself might be cheaper but the thing is that you need to get an uh, poe switch for that purpose poe switch basically it does is that it gives you internet and uh, poe uh, enabled uh, cable like as an output so you could connect that uh, poe cable uh, into the PoE uh, access point might like all of the access points are obviously not PoE like the old ones uh, the new ones PoE uh, access points are uh, better and they have a better range and better speeds and have a better connection so I think that's a good solution as well number four a mesh Wi-Fi system what is a mesh Wi-Fi system Basically, a mesh Wi-Fi system is like, uh, oh, I missed that. So you connect your main router over Ethernet uh, to the uh, uh, main node of the mesh system. Mesh system comes basically with the main node and its sub nodes where you could place all over uh, the area you want to cover, be it a house or an office or whatever the case may be. So what it does is it, it connects the main, uh, the main router is connected to the main node uh, via an ethernet connection. And the main node now takes care of the other two nodes. This is the uh, second node and this is the third node. Uh, you could use a lot of nodes. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to one, two or three nodes. You could use uh, four or five or how many uh, you want. but in most of the cases you use only like uh, two or three nodes that's enough for a big enough house uh, basically what it does is that uh, you uh, in whichever node you're connected to it uses the best route the fastest route to uh, the internet so you get better speeds advantages of uh, this system is that it offers best coverage uh, and it uh, has only one SSID 
in the case of like Wi-Fi repeater extender or access point you will have multiple SSIDs like uh, wireless connections uh, wireless access points I mean and uh, that might be a hassle when you switch from one location to another because your smartphone does not do that for you you will have to do, do that manually and in the case of a mesh system you don't have to do that as uh, like uh, it is one SSID so whenever you switch from one node to another node it switches automatically and you can roam around the place freely and uh, like you could uh, have better speeds uh, you could watch uh, for example 4k Netflix or YouTube uh, without, without a problem uh, granted you have to have uh, good internet connections as well so it has only one SSID and the connections could be both wired and wireless uh, so the nodes have uh, don't have to be connected uh, via an ethernet cable although it is the best to uh, connect uh, the, the nodes uh, via an ethernet connections although the wireless is also good like a backhaul uh, connections uh, they call it but uh, I personally uh, recommend to use an ethernet connections uh, the, the best thing is that the best thing about the uh, mesh system is that it offers best speeds but uh, this is a big problem uh, for the people who are looking for cheap solutions this is not cheap this is very expensive solution but the thing is that it is long term and you get the best speeds and the best coverage number five is using an old router that you have laying around that is of no use uh, you could use that uh, for extending your Wi-Fi so this is the main router that is called the primary router and you connect the uh, uh, the secondary router the second one uh, the old router so we'll call that a secondary router so that is connected via ethernet you could also connect it via uh, like a, a, a thing called WDS so uh, WDS is also uh, there but the thing is that you're compromising a lot of speeds using WDS so uh, the best thing, uh, the best uh, solution recommended is using an Ethernet cable. So the the speeds are pretty respectable, and uh, you, as I stated earlier, uh, you could use both wired and wireless connections. And uh, the WDS, the the problem with WDS is you are compromising like up to fifty percent of speeds, and of course you don't want that like yeah uh, it could work uh, if you're uh, like using facebook or like watching some video on youtube but uh, if you're doing some uh, you could say heavy streaming uh, or like you could you're streaming in 4k so it might not work and it might not be the best solution the connection might be lost as well so the best thing the best uh, way to go is using an Ethernet cable and it is very cheap because let's face it you are not using that router anyway so now you're using that uh, as well and it is in good use so what do you uh, I'll explain that in the next video but I'm giving you an overview how do you do that so this is say let's say this is my primary router I uh, this um, this is my, my primary router I connect this cable the Ethernet cable to this router and then I get another router this is my secondary router that I want to use for uh, extending my range and I connect to its LAN port why LAN port uh, I'll make uh, another video about it uh, why you should use a LAN port and you definitely have to do some configurations for that but you could also use the internet port or WAN port if you uh, do not want to get into a little bit technical stuff but it is recommended to use the LAN port with some uh, uh, configurations of course so yeah I'm gonna explain that in another video and that being said, 
don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.